Hey guys, Pie Guy Rules here, and welcome to my newest Let's Play. Pokemon... Emerald version. Now, some of you are probably wondering why aren't I playing gold or silver. Well, my copies kind of glitched out on me, so they're not working. And the reason I'm not playing Sapphire, because even though, you know, I like second versions, uh... Emerald is just so much better. Um, to be quite honest, I, I think one of the reasons that a lot of people hate the third gen is that Ruby and Sapphire stories are just meh, whereas Emerald kind of takes both of them and just makes it awesome, you know? So instead of getting Ruby and Sapphire, you may as well just get Emerald. So we're going to start a new game. Here we go. I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. Tali, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call a Pokemon. The world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live al alongside Pokemon, at times friends, friendly playmates, and at times as cooperative workmates. And sometimes we band together and battle others like us. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That is what I do. And you are? <laughs> wow, I, uh, I'm not quite sure what direction I want to take Professor Birch's voice in. Uh, am I a boy or a girl? Yes. <laughs> Alright, what's your name? AJ. I am playing using the, uh, Game Boy Player, uh, the, on the GameCube. So it's AJ! Yes. So if you hear me clicking, uh, that's my super pad GameCube controller. Yeah, okay. You're the AJ who's moving to my hometown of Little Root. I get it now. Alright, are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon, where dreams, adventures, and friendships await. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me at my Pokemon lab. Okay. So yeah, nothing, uh, nothing really much different there other than it's, uh, R R not Rowan, Birch. It's Birch giving us this speech instead of Oak. And here we are in the moving van. Boop. The only time you're in a v inside a vehicle in any, like, of the first four series games, maybe? I don't, I don't know. Uh, the only time you're in a vehicle in this game, unless you count bikes. AJ, we're here, honey! It must be tiring riding with all our things in the moving truck. Mom, why can't I, why, why couldn't I ride with you in our invisible car? Well, this is Little Root Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. It has a quaint feel to it, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? Gee, Mom, that's that's a nice that's that's a nice criteria for picking places to leave, live. It's easy to live here. Is it nice? Eh. Is it good for me? Eh. But it's easy. And you get your own room, AJ. Let's go inside. I should hope I get my own room. That'd be creepy. See, AJ? Isn't it nice in here, too? The Movers Pokemon do all the work of moving up and cleaning up after. It's so convenient. AJ, your room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Dad brought you a new clock to mark our move here. Don't forget to set it. It's like off. Ooga, 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 ooga. That one seems to be a bit lost. Uh, you know, well, I suppose I shouldn't bring it up until we meet our father. Because yes, you actually meet your dad in this game. Uh, let's see, it's 7.49 here, p.m. Go, clock, go! Uh, this will determine a few events in the game. 7.49. Whoa, where am I going here? Um, pfft. let's see, can Pyga read a clock? Um, uh, that's close enough, right? Yeah. 
I think that's, uh, God, if I even know. AJ, how do you like your new room? It sucks. I wanted an analog clock. Good. Everything's put away neatly. No, it's not. All my stuff's thrown across the floor. I hate it, Mom. They finished moving everything in downstairs, too. Pokemon movers are so convenient. You already said that, you stupid mom. Oh, you should make sure that everything's all there on your desk. Pokemon like to steal things. Wait, what? Uh, I always kind of picture uh, Brendan here as, like, a kind of a spoiled kid, and, you know, he kind of resents moving to this town. All right, so let's see. We could read some tutorial crap, or we can get a free potion. I like that idea. Oh, uh, yes. Maybe one day the Pokemon world will learn to accept Max instead of just exclusive PCs. I hate the TVs in this game. <laughs> be getting into that a little bit later. Oh, AJ, AJ, quick, come quickly! Look, it's Petalburg Gym. Maybe Dad'll be on. Whoa, Dad's a gym leader? Interviewer. We brought you this report from in front of Petalburg Gym. Oh, it's over. I think Dad was on, but we missed him. Too bad. <laughs> it's not like that was the only time I'll get to see my husband in the next ten years. Hmm. Oh well. One of Dad's friends lives in town. Professor Birch is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. <laughs> so where, do I, where, where does Mom live here? I, I don't understand. There's not even a couch that she can live in. I mean, let's not even get into the whole bathroom thing, but whatever. So yes, this is... AJ's house. <laughs> it's not even not even by my mom's name. It's just my house. I own the house. And this is Professor Birch's house. Heh <laughs> fat guy. If you use a PC, you could Thor items in Pokemon. Power of science is staggering. <laughs> Very staggering indeed. That's what it looks like the Pokemon lab. Alright, let's not dawdle. Let's do as our as we're told. This is the part of the show where you realize that Pagai Rules cannot do more than one female voice. So we're gonna have to, uh, yeah. She's gonna, she's gonna be our mom's twin sister, actually. Oh, hello. And you are? Oh, you're AJ, our new next door neighbor. Hi. We have a daughter about the same age as you. Isn't that convenient? Our daughter was excited about making a new friend. Our daughter is upstairs, I think. She's a little bit of a stalker, so watch out. Hey, who's this? Hi, neighbor! Do you already have your Pokemon? No, I do not, little pink-haired. Is this a sibling of... Alright, whatever. Let's, let's, let's just ignore that thing. Yes, free stuff. Oh, man, she gets a golden GameCube. Psh. Oh. Huh? Who? Who are you? Oh, you're AJ. So your move was today. Um, I'm May. Glad to meet you. I... I have this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. I... I heard about you, AJ, from my dad, Professor Birch. I was hoping that you would be nice, AJ, and that we could be friends, despite the fact that I'm an excessive smoker. <laughs> oh, this is just silly, isn't it? I... I've just met you, AJ, and I feel like I want to stalk you. <laughs> oh no, I forgot. I was supposed to go help Dad catch some wild Pokemon. <sighs> AJ, I'll catch you later. So, yeah, this is what I meant by improvising. And you're not helping your dad, you're checking your email. Pokemon fully restored. Items ready and Facebook status posted. So, yeah, May's gonna be a chain smoker in this Let's Play. Isn't that fun? <laughs> it's May's Pokeball! Better leave it right where it is. Girl's crazy. Best not upset her. Alright, so that would be Professor Birch's daughter. Let's go check up on the old professor. Well, he's not here? Hmm, I would have known this if I had paid attention to the fact that she said he was going to be out in the field researching, but can we get free potions? Oh, PC used for research. And let's see if the aide has anything to... Hmm, Professor Birch? The professor's away on field work. Ergo, he isn't here. Oh, let me explain what fieldwork is. Oh, yeah, I don't care. No, don't teach me things, Pokemon, about the real world. Shush. Ah. Gosh, I play Pokemon to get away from the real world. Hi, little girl. Um, hi. 
There are scary Pokemon outside. I can hear their cries. Sorry, guys. I'm not much of a tenor. I want to go see what's going on, but I don't have any Pokemon. And it's getting late, so my voice is just low. Can you go see what's happening for me? All right. <laughs> Help me. Oh. Hello, you over there. I met you in the intro. Please help me. In my bag, there's a Pokeball. Let's go, uh, to some... Oh, where, where are you going? Don't leave me like this. Fine. And this is where we get to choose our Pokemon. Exciting, isn't it? Hmm, who to choose? Mudkip is honestly my favorite of this generation's starter Pokemon. Um, for what he evolves into, I have a... Marsh Stomp that's pretty uh, pretty sweet in Platinum. Um, so we're gonna actually we're gonna go with Trico because it's tradition to go with the Grass types. That's just what I always do on my first time playing it. So I figure we'll always do it here. Isn't that fun? <laughs> yes, I choose this Pokemon. I feel bad for the people who didn't know how significant that is. Like first time players, it's not really explained how important it is, and that that's the Pokemon you have to keep. Alright, let's pound this guy into the ground. This little Tanuki guy. <laughs> Sorry, I got Tanuki on the brain. I wonder what games I have I've been playing. Speaking of which, I wish uh, I wish the 3DS would have one of the Pokemon games um, on the virtual console. I don't know what they would do. I don't know if they'd do red or blue, or I, I, I don't know if they do main series games, uh, considering they just probably want you to buy their remakes. I mean, that being said, they could put fire, red, or leaf green on there, too. Heck, they could put emerald on there. Um, but they haven't gotten into Game Boy Advance games except for <laughs> ambassadors like me. Okay, Trigo gained 17 experience points. Yay! Wee I was in the tall grass studying wild Pokemon and I was jumped. You saved me. Thanks a lot. Oh? Hi, you're AJ. I met you in the intro, dude. This is not the place to chat. So come to my, back to my Pokemon lab later, okay? And suddenly I'm here. So, AJ. Yeah, I've heard so much about you from your father. Yeah, I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. Since he won't give you any, because he doesn't love you. But the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with... A plum. Am I, is that a word? Is he trying to say Apon? <laughs> yeah, I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Oh, yes. Uh, thanks for rescuing me. I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. Yeah, we got the Trico. Well, you're at it. Why not give a name to that Trico? Sure. Let's call him Geico. <laughs> Car insurance. Uh, how do you spell Geico? No. Co. Geico. Um. Yeah, that's close enough. Even if it's not, you technically right. <laughs> it might be. I don't know. If you work at Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make an extremely good trainer based on the one Pokemon battle I've seen you fight. My kid May is also studying Pokemon while helping me out. AJ, don't you think it might be a good idea to go see May? I don't think so, dude. She's kind of creepy. No, don't be that way. You should go meet my kid. No, no, thank you. No, don't be that way. You should go meet my kid. Well, it seems like Professor Birch is a stalker and encouraging his daughter's stalking behavior. Hmm. Great! May should be happy, too. She didn't have any friends. Get May to teach you what it is means to be a trainer. I already know what it means to be a trainer. Psh. There has to be an option in all these games where it's just like, psh, I've played previous games, I don't need the tutorial. Um, but with that, we are going to end our first part, so um, hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I have, and I'm really looking forward to this one. Warning, there's a different game file that's already saved. Oh no, oh no! Eh, you can only have one save file per Pokemon game. What a rip. Ah, well. Tiger rules, out.